Hi guys, for today we're going to be doing page 74 of the JPEGD book of scale of 1 to 1 and it is basically just a circle um, interpenetration and development drawing. So I went ahead and started the drawing um, just to make this video quicker. So you can go along and do this along, make sure you've got your hexagon and that you've darkened these lines as well as your view here. Make sure that these lines are dark because the interpenetration is going to be here. Yeah. So, first thing you're going to do is take your 45 degree set square and just draw a line over here, as well as over here. Oh yeah. Then what you're going to do is you're going to draw a little line in the middle. And this is so that you can get space for your circle. Okay, so you're going to take a compass, you're going to put it in the middle there. You're just going to draw a circle like this over here. Now mine's a bit... Um, messed up but that's not going to matter too much because it's just an auxiliary view then you're going to take your set square and you're going to take your 45 degree set square and your 60 uh, 30 degree set square and you're going to section your circle into 12 little bits like this And then lastly, okay, and then lastly, you'll have this line over here, which I did off camera because I needed both my hands. All right, so what you're going to do is start by labeling. So you're going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way around. Okay, like this. And I just went up to 12 just so that I know that I have... Um, my full sections you don't have to do it at all all right so what you're going to do next is you're going to draw an auxiliary view here of a circle as well for your top view okay so Gonna draw a line over there. Take your compass. Oh, and just draw a circle around like that. Okay, this is going to be your second auxiliary view, and this one you're also going to section into twelve little bits okay just like this okay so this one we're going to need to label as well but it's going to be quite a complicated labeling because we've got to remember that this circle this point here is the top which you would see over here so that means that your zero will be over here then your one will be the next one over here then it'll be two three four five six seven eight and etc okay just like this over here now because we need to get the circular or the cylinder for the top view we're going to just go ahead and take these lines from your circle over like this and like this cool so now you're going to have to move your points from here down onto your drawing 
So in order to get all the points, you're just going to have to take your circle, draw a line down like this. each and every um, section of your circle just like that cool so now if you want to you can go ahead and label these so this would be 1 and 11 2 and 10 3 and 9 8 and 4 this would be 7 and 5 and this over here would be number 6 cool beans just like that right so now you're going to take one of your set squares and you're going to take these points and put them on your top view over here but before you do that you actually have to take these lines across as well so let's do that quickly So now that you've done that, you're going to have to bring your points down. So this here would be your zero point, and you know your zero point here would be on the line here. So there we go, zero, zero. Then with one and eleven, one and eleven are on these lines. So you're going to have to do it here. Take your one and eleven points down. So we'll have one and eleven. Then we're going to do it with 2 and 10, so 2 and 10 are down there, over here and yeah. So, we're going to have 2 and 10, and 2 and 10. Then we're going to have to take our 3 and 9, which we know will be on the exterior lines of the circle. So we're just going to go ahead and stick it here, and over here, and... That's basically all we're going to do until we have all our points plotted. So all you do is you take them from this point here down and you connect them or you plot them and then we connect them. Cool beans, just like this. So now we're going to connect these um, freehand. So it might be a little bit wonky, but you can always just go and correct it. Um... But for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to correct too much, but I'll correct this here. Okay, so as you can see, this is my connection of the points. It's not perfect, but for this case, I really don't feel like it has to be. This is just to show you what to do. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take the exterior parts of the circle and you're going to connect them to your hexagon. Just like this over here and this is your top view finished and now we're going to move on to the interpenetration cool so now we're going to take these points over here and plot them on this line here because these are your three and nine points and they will make the middle line of your developments so, or the interpenetration so you're just going to take it over here and stick it over there and then you're going to do the same with your um, 10 and 8 and your 2 and 4 lines so they are these lines over here and you're just going to bring them up as well just like this and they would go where your 8 and 10 are so, okay, so you stick down your 10 and 8 points. I accidentally took the no, I took the right points. Okay, I'm just losing my mind. Okay, and then we are going to take these points over here, or this point over here, which belong to your 11 and 7. So we're just going to find... 11 and 7 over here and put these points on it so here 
11 and 7 and then your 0 and your 6 points will be these points over here so you're going to just take them up and you'll find that they'll already be on the development already cool so now you have your points and all you have to do is join these like that cool and then all you do is you just connect the rest of the lines and darken them so i'm going to do that off camera quickly okay so your view should look like this over here now we need to do the development of this shape so we're going to be unfolding your cylinder and for purposes of um the video i'm going to have to erase it so that we can have space okay so for the development you're going to just take a set square and you're going to draw a long line down like this line over here and then you're going to take your compass and take all the lengths of these sides and take them and just plot them like across the page cool so just like this okay so now what you're going to do um and you can do this beforehand i just wasn't thinking you can just go ahead and draw a horizontal line as well so where your longest point will be you'll just draw a long line down like this just to get the shape of your cylinder and then what you're going to do is split this into 12 different parts for your circle so cool so once you split it into 12 parts you can draw horizontal lines across for each of these points okay so when you draw your hundred horizontal lines, your drawing so far should look like this. Then you're going to take your points that were these points here. So you just measure from here to here, here to here, and so on and so forth. And you're just going to draw long lines down to this line over here. Okay, so now it's always easy to label. So we're going to start by zero and we're just going to start labeling. So zero, one, two three all the way down cool just like this over here and the same with these lines here we should label them as well so this one will be your 0 12 etc okay so you'll label them just like this over here so your whole shape should look like this okay so now um, to get the development you're going to have to take the points and where they meet so for instance zero on this line would meet with the small zero here which is over here so you'll just draw a little dot like that okay then one and eleven so one will meet with the one eleven line over here Like this okay then 2 and 10 will meet with the 2 and 10 line 3 which is the 3 and 9 will meet with the 3 and 9 line which is over here 4 will meet with the 8 and 4 line which is over here oops yeah my bad sorry guys and 5 which will meet with your 7-5 line so this line over here then 6 which will meet with your 6 line over here 
the 7, which will meet with your 7-5 line. Your 8, which will meet with your 8-4 line. Your 9, which will meet with your 9-3 line. 10, which will meet with your 2 and 10 line. Your 11, which will meet with your 1 and 11 line. And your 0 line will always meet here again. Okay, so now you have your points that should look like this. And you can basically just connect these points together. Like this over here. Okay, so now to finish your development, you're going to make this a solid line. This whole line here a solid line. And this line here solid. Okay, and once you've finished with your development, your whole drawing should look like this. And um, thank you for watching. See you next time.